Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I am going to share with you our new homeschooling schedule for the 2023-2024 homeschooling year. If any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I'm a homeschooling mom to three girls and I am in my fourth year of homeschool. So if any of you guys are new viewers here to my channel, I just wanna say hi and welcome. Um, a little backstory about our homeschool and our homeschooling journey. I actually started our homeschool in 2020 and we started due to the global pandemic. I had a six month old that I was still breastfeeding at the time and a two year old I was potty training along with starting my first year of homeschool. So you guys in starting off our homeschooling journey, I definitely started it off like in a busy season. And the only thing that saved me was having some sort of schedule and rhythm and routine in our household. And uh, to really be honest, you guys, our homeschooling schedule has not really um, changed much since our first year of homeschooling. I tried to change up our schedule in our second year of homeschool. It was a total fail. So I went back to our original homeschooling like schedule and rhythm. And that is the schedule that I'm gonna share with you guys today. As you guys are watching this video, we are actually in our fourth week back into homeschool. So I really got a chance to really test out our new schedule and really to get like a flow and a groove to it. And I definitely um, have ironed out a lot of the tweaks. So here is like, my homeschooling schedule right here I actually printed off this template it was free from Canva and um, I just plugged in my own like schedule and what we actually do in our homeschool and um, I'm gonna share that with you guys but before I do I definitely want to let you guys know um, everyone's homeschooling schedules and rhythms is definitely going to be unique to you and your homeschool so while I am sharing with you guys my rhythm and schedule that we do in our homeschool I definitely want to challenge you to uh, find your own rhythm and schedule and routine. And um, it may take a while for you to get your footing in it, especially if this is your first year of homeschool. But when you get that footing, just stick with it. Um, so yes. So uh, first things first, in starting off our homeschooling schedule, our wake time in our house is anywhere between 7 and 7.30. My um, oldest daughter, Brielle, she has her new alarm clock and she likes to wake up actually at 6.45 in the morning. My husband, he wakes up around the same time, around like 6.30, and I wake up a lot later with my younger two. So I wake up anywhere between 7, 7.15, 7.30, and that's the same time my younger two, they wake up as well. So that's that is kind of like our wake time in the morning. So in the morning while I'm getting ready, my husband, I'm so happy you guys, like he still is working from home since the pandemic. He's still here. So I'm so happy. I'm so grateful he is still here because he really helps me in my morning time routine uh, because I'm definitely not one to wake up really, really early. I'm not like an early riser or a morning bird. I definitely can say he definitely fills in those cracks for me. So while I am getting ready and dressed for the day, he is getting my younger two, my five and three-year-old ready and dressed for the day. And by that time, Brielle is actually already ready and dressed for the day. And she typically starts her uh, first subject of the day, which is math, around 7.30, 7.45. Brielle is already here in this homeschool room. So I'm so happy that she is a self-starter. Uh, math is definitely not her favorite subject and she just loves to just get rid of it and get done with it first things first. Um, just so her, the rest of her day, she just tells me that she just likes the rest of her day. She doesn't have to think about it anymore. So she definitely does her toughest subject of the day. So Brielle typically will go downstairs. She will get like um, a granola bar, a Nutri-Grain bar, yogurt. She'll just get something small and light um, along with her water while she is doing her math. The math curriculum that she's using this year is Matthew C. Zeta along with Oak Meadows um, Math 6. So she's able to do both of those curriculums independently on her own. She typically watches the uh, Matthew C.'s uh, live video streaming from Mr. Demi on her own. She doesn't need me. I just come in on the back end to help grade her assignments. So while all that's going on um, and the kiddos are finished getting dressed, typically during that time, Brielle will meet me downstairs and then I will go over her math assignment. During that time, my little ones, they are trying to get into trouble already. However, um, since my husband at this point is already off to work, I typically have some type of activity or something already ready to go for them. So I have a few things I'm gonna share with you guys that I typically use and I set out on our dining room table 
table for them. Like I would say it's kind of like a morning starter. And I love using these uh, paint with waters. I get these, you guys, from the Dollar Tree. And these are absolutely, these are my favorites for them. They can't make a big mess with these. And these definitely keep them entertained, especially while I am um, helping Brielle and checking over her math work. Um, something else that my younger kiddos love is they love coloring. So right now they are into LOL dolls. So I had to snag these new coloring books that I found for them. And I just uh, bring their caddy downstairs and I have like something ready for them. Something else that they're enjoying right now is these um, Kumon books. This one's for my three-year-old. It's called Less Stick and Paste. And then for my five-year-old, she's still working on her scissor skills. And this is the Kumon, my uh, book of pasting for four, five, and six-year-olds. So I typically have some type of activity on our dining room table ready for them to go. But here lately, you guys, they have actually been playing really, really good independently. Some of their favorite toys that they've been playing with in the morning has been their magnet tiles. They've been playing with Legos. And they also love listening to their uh, like morning playlist where I put on Bible songs for them. So um, I definitely try to make sure I keep the littles busy while I'm helping Brielle. So that's typically our until 9 a.m. schedule what we are doing in our home. So around 9, 9.45 is typically when I am starting breakfast and I'm finishing it up. So for breakfast, you guys, we keep it really, really simple here. Uh, for the most part, we have like oatmeal, raisin toast. Uh, I typically have like boiled eggs are ready to go. I used to make like these huge big breakfasts in like our first year of homeschool, you guys. I used to always have like pancakes and cinnamon buns and like really special breakfasts and stuff like that. But I definitely burnt out really, really fast when it came to uh, doing like big elaborate things in the morning time so I definitely keep it really 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 simple now and it's really helping us keep into like our rhythm and our flow even though having that you know stuff is really special at times um, I just try to keep it really really simple so that's what we'll do and during breakfast typically um, that's the time where I will go ahead and start off my uh, morning time and Bible time with my littles they will read their or I will read their scripture uh, memory verse we will sing some more songs together and then after I'm finished working with them I would typically work with my oldest daughter and she does her bible time separate while the little ones go back off and play so for her we typically do our bible study together um, we do our hymn study we are using the heritage mom's hymn study and I'm really really enjoying it we are in volume two this year and it's been really really fun um, a devotional that we've been enjoying this year has been indescribable so that's another fun one we've been listening to on audible so I keep it really really simple our whole morning time in our like uh, Bible time I should say it only lasts about 20 minutes um, I really want to keep the kiddos attention span and I want to make sure that I keep it like short and quick and um, I don't want to have it be all drawn out you know so that's definitely um, how I engage everyone and I keep everyone's attention so after our Bible morning time, typically what we would do is we will uh, do like another quick clean. We will clean off our um, dining room table at that point. Um, any type of mess that my younger kiddos have made, we will, you know, pick up that mess that they've made. Um, and then I will go ahead and get us prepared for our next subjects. So you guys, now um, that Brielle is actually in middle school, she is really taking the reins when it comes to her education. So at this point, if it's Monday, what I typically do is I will go over Brielle's agenda with her on Monday and just make sure she knows exactly what she's doing for the day, exactly what I'm expecting us to cover for the week. And we have like a little mini, I guess, like chit chat. And I just make sure she and I are on the same page. And after that point, I really just let Brielle, she's just off doing her own independent work. And her independent work consists of her Oak Meadows English. She does her vocabulary cartoons. And she also has been enjoying handwriting. So those are um, everything Brielle does in her morning block as far as all of her subjects. Now, because Brielle is so independent, I have been finding myself having a lot more free time to really work with my younger two. So at this point, I typically will go ahead and do calendar time with my younger ones. And they really, really enjoy that time um, where we just go over our days of the week. And sometimes we go over different things like uh, we'll count to 100 
100. We'll go over our seasons, our months of the year. Um, and I really, really enjoy that special time that I do with both of my younger toddlers. Sometimes at this point, I will go ahead and read uh, one or two picture books with them um, to ensure that I am getting that read aloud with them together. So that's when I call it my littles read aloud time. Uh, so I work with them any type of picture books that we have, whether it be their math picture books um, that I'm using with my uh, middle daughter, Leia, with her kindergarten math with confidence. At that point, I may read that picture book and or we may just pull off some fun books that we picked out from the library. So after that, I give them another quick break, my younger two, and then I go back and check on Brielle and make sure she doesn't have any questions with anything. Typically she doesn't, she's pretty much still working. And then what I do is I will bring in one kid into the homeschool room and begin working individual lessons with my younger two. So at this point, it's typically around like 1030 where I will uh, go in and pull my first daughter who is Leia. She's in kindergarten and I work on her one on one. At this point, we will typically work on her kindergarten math with uh, confidence. She loves math, you see. So depending on a day, if she wants to do both of her maths, we'll go ahead and do both of her maths. And then we will work either with her letter sounds and or we will begin her phonics instruction at that point. So for the most part, she works works in math anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. And then for her phonics instruction, she works for 10 minutes in her phonics instruction. So in total, we are working together in the homeschool room for only about 20 to 25 minutes. That is all my five-year-old is giving me as far as her attention span. She has a very short attention span. And when I bring her in this homeschool room, you guys, I have everything lined up and ready to go with for her because I know my time is really, really short and I definitely want to give her really short and effective lessons. So after her time is over, uh, they really think this is fun. I will switch off and I will bring in my three-year-old in here and I will work one-on-one -on -one with her as well. And I will do the same thing. We will do her preschool math at home with her. Um, sometimes I will read a nursery rhyme with her and then we will work on some fun phonics instructions and things like that. And I would do like a fun activity with my three-year-old. So you guys, after that, it's really about 11 o'clock and I'm done with my littles. They are off to playing independently. And at this point, Brielle, she takes a quick break and then I come back to my oldest and I go over all of her assignments that she has done in English, any questions that she has. And I just kind of like come in on the back end and make sure she is doing good in her subjects. Um, then at that point, if it is um, our grammar day for her, because we only do grammar for Brielle three days out the week. So if it's our time to do grammar, we'll work on our Rod and Staff grammar. We will work on it for about 20 minutes because those grammar instructions are really, really short. So that's putting us anywhere between 11.30, 11.45. And at that point, um, my kiddos, they break for another quick snack and they love going outside before lunch. So that's the new thing. I used to not like them going outside in like the middle of our homeschool day, but I'm finding now it's really, really beneficial for them to go out there, ride their bikes, get on their scooters, get out all that energy and come back in. Um, I really, really love them having that time. And typically during that time, I know this sounds really, really crazy, you guys, but while they're outside playing, that is actually the time that I actually read my devotions. And um, I listen to my audible books at the same time um, during that quiet time while I'm sitting on my porch. And it's really, really been beneficial to me. Um, I know a lot of people like to do like their Bible studies in morning time earlier in the day, but I'm just finding that's just been a perfect time for me to squeeze it in. And um, maybe in another season, I will be like that early bird. But for right now, that is the time that I do use while they're outside. It feels good good. You know, I have my uh, water and I just really, really have been enjoying that time uh, for them to spend outside. And it's really great for me as well, because I'm giving myself a second, you know, recharge in the middle of the day. So um, after this point, it's typically around 1230. I, you know, drag the kids back in. We have our lunch and our read aloud. And um, after that point, my younger two, they will go down after lunch and read aloud. They will go into their quiet time where they will pick an activity and work quietly while I bring Brielle upstairs in the homeschool room and we either do her Oak Meadows history and or science. Um, she is pretty independent with those subjects, but I do like to get her started off 
And then after she started and she knows her instructions, uh, pretty much Brielle is just working independently throughout the rest of the day and she comes grabs me if she has any more questions. So uh, Brielle's like core is pretty much ending anywhere between two o'clock and 2.30. I'm finding that since she is in middle school, um, I really have to get adjusted to the amount of time it's taken her to spend with school. We're not finished with school as early as we was when she was like in her early, early elementary days. And I really have to get Get used to um, I guess the workload that she's working on the papers that she's writing and really just get adjusted to like our new flow and our new rhythm so uh, that's something that I just really have to keep in mind and knowing when it comes to her working in her middle school work so after she typically does her history or science, when I come back in, that's the time where we have our study hall period where we're working on like note taking skills right now. And I help her uh, write out all of her notes and her note taking skills. After that point, when she is finished school, like I said before, uh, it's anywhere between 2.30 and two o'clock. She will have her um, another break, of course. And then she will do like all of her electives. At that time, she will work on creative writing. She does her Spanish. Um, she does anything really, you guys, that she wants to do to entertain herself before uh, they get their technology time in the later evening. So she also does her piano during this time. So Brielle is pretty much just free to, you know, do whatever she wants to do. She has fun. Um, now after, uh, I guess after that time, after four o'clock, uh, we come back downstairs at that point and then um, I get prepared for uh, dinner. The kiddos, they get their technology time. My husband gets off of work and that's kind of like our, you know, family time, quiet time. We're just, you know, getting into that evening rush. Uh, during our uh, nighttime routine, the kiddos around like 7.30, we get them ready for their bath and bedtime. My younger ones are in bed around 8, 8.30. And Brielle, during this time, she is working on her, um, she does her chores first. And then after she completes her chores, she does um, her, you know, nighttime routine. And then she does all of her reading at night. She does even her independent assigned reading at night. That's just the time she loves to read. And uh, her bedtime is anywhere between 9 and 9.30 for my oldest. So that is our Monday through Thursday homeschooling schedule. So for Fridays, our schedule looks a lot different this year. This is the first year I really feel like I have pretty much a true four day a week schedule with the exception of math for my oldest. So in our morning time, we do pretty much the same thing, uh, math, everything like that. After breakfast on Fridays, we typically go straight into some type of craft and or um, activity uh, when it comes to Brielle and when it comes to my younger two. For Brielle, she is getting like a lot of her art and uh, projects and activities from her Oak Meadows curriculum. And it's been so fun seeing all the different art and the things that she gets up to on Fridays. And it's already built in and I really don't have to think about it. And she's really, really enjoying that time. So that is typically what she does do during Fridays. I know our Fridays may be looking a little bit different as we get into our curriculum more because our Fridays, what we used them for last year was I was actually editing like her last uh, final draft in her IEW paper. So I know as her papers, you know, get heavier when it comes to her Oak Meadows curriculum, I know on Fridays we are going to spend a little bit time, you know, editing like her final drafts and things like that. That typically would take us anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes and then we would print off her final copies and things like that that she'll be so proud of herself you guys but um I know our Fridays is going to look more like that towards like our next term but for right now our Fridays is really just art and math uh we um reserving Fridays for like our library pickup where we pick up our next books that we need for the next week because I have been utilizing my library you guys so well you'll be so proud of me um <laughs> so I definitely make sure we pick up our next books and we drop off our uh, books that we used already for the week I'm reserving Fridays really just to keep them open and light uh, for my kiddos. Friday Brielle uses it for creative writing. She really uh, does a lot of writing on Fridays for fun and uh, whatever the kids want to do as far as interest led, I definitely want to keep it open. So Fridays again is really like a half a day free day and I really love the feels of our Fridays. 
So you guys, this is pretty much like our homeschooling schedule and flow. Um, I know this upcoming week we will start like our homeschool STEM and our homeschool hangouts and things like that. Uh, they're typically in the later afternoon. So um, I really, really like that they're later afternoons because I really don't have to worry about um, our homeschooling groups and hangouts affecting like our school days because they're in the afternoon. So uh, for the most part, uh, that's going to be added in. And I'm really, really excited about that uh, throughout the week. But other than that, you guys, this is our schedule. This is our flow. This has been working out for us and I'm going to stick with it for as long as I can. Um, I am not utilizing my homeschool room the way that I intended it to. I really thought that I was going to have everybody in here all at the table, but I'm finding myself using my homeschool room for one-on-one -on -one instructions, which is perfectly fine. It's still getting used. Um, and maybe at one point I will be able to have all of the kiddos in here at one time. So you guys, I really hope you took inspiration from my homeschooling like schedule and rhythm and you can take some nuggets and tips in um, you finding out your own rhythm and schedule and flow in your homeschool. So as always you guys thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye!